So today I'm fitting this uh, Shift Tech quick release gas cap, filler cap. Comes with a spare rubber sealer. And um, this center part, where it says uh, quick action system, I actually took from a different gas cap, uh, another quick release one that I had. Uh, the one that actually came with this was just black with no writing and a black center, but as uh, got a red Ducati, I thought I'd swap those two over. But essentially it's uh, exactly the same otherwise. So you've got six bolts to undo there. They're um, Allen heads and, uh, or hex heads. And I'm not sure what millimeter they are, but I've actually got a, um, a five, 532 and that fits as well. So I'm just gonna release them with that. So first you'll need to remove this black cover there's this little tongue bit that sits in beneath the bodywork, beneath the seat. And there's these two little bolts there that you'll only see when you open up the storage compartment. Two more here, and then two more either side at the front, and then you can lift this off. And this has a connector built in there for your wireless power lead. You can leave that connected and just set it on a soft cloth. Next thing you need to do is remove the six bolts here from the filler cap. So you'll end up with your four black bolts from the bodywork and six silver bolts from the filler cap. This has a little breather hose here connected on this side and also on that side as well. You'll need to gently lever those off with a pair of pliers and then this whole housing should come off. And the underside of the housing is going to screw onto your top part of your gas cap replacement. There's a rubber washer there. And there'll also be a gasket beneath this. I suspect that you'll need to put it onto this in order for it to stay fuel tight. So with the gas cap removed, that's what it looks like. See the fuel down there? All nice and neat. And here's your gas cap. The other side is you've got this plastic housing, and this is uh, the uh, two spikes on either side are what those uh, breather hoses connect to. And you'll need to uh, use the screws, the Phillips head screws here, to remove that hat. And you want to retain this underneath, and then somehow we fit the new one to this. And so with those two tiny screws removed, you can see these two components come apart. And this is your replacement, which you can see is its own rubber seal. A bit different design to the original. And this is obviously a hinge design to accept the key, and this will be a keyless. This uh, important, this rubber stays on the, on the bike for uh, additional sealing. But hopefully now we can just screw this to that and reassemble. Now, before we marry up the internals of the original and the outer quick release cap, we need to make sure everything's pointing the right direction. So these uh, need to be pointing to the front because they are for the breathers. And this is actually inverted at the moment. So from a rider's perspective, it's that way up. This is where the hinge was for the original uh, cap there. So what we need to make sure is that this, when upright, is pointing that way, because that's what the rider is going to see. So this hole here has to marry up with that hole there, that hole there, with that one there, and then we'll have a straight fitting, fitting filler cap. So let's do that. Now one thing I notice is the two little screws I took out to take the original inner and the external filler cap out, go into these uh, threaded slots and on the replacement we don't have that however with the uh, rubber seal in situ and this married up and screwed down tight to that it's just not going to matter but just a, a just you know a point to note also my filler cap appears to have like three of those and there's only two in my specific bike but it may well be three in yours it looks logical 
So as the OEM internals and the new external filler cap do not screw together until they are bolted through this into the actual bike. Uh, I fitted this part first and I put the breathers back on. Very easy, uh, you only really need actual uh, finger pressure uh, to put them back on. So don't go mad with a pair of pliers and end up splitting it or anything. So the filler cap is uh, in situ now and bolted down, looking very nice. And um, points to note, this internal, um, the actual quick release aspect here, it's from a different filler cap. So the original camber shift tech was just black, but having a red Ducati, um, and I like this script, uh, I, I swapped it over basically from uh, another cap with this. And I like the look of it. I wish these bolts that came with it were black, uh, maybe changing them out for some black anodized ones at some point would be nice. I wanted to use the original bolts, which are quite nice quality, but they sit way too proud. So these are uh, kind of mushroom head and sit pretty flush. No need to do them up too tight. Uh, what I did was I did them, you know, just firmly um, using the Allen key that way up. My theory is if it's just snug up, it's not going to uh, strip the thread and when you come to undo it when you're using the key that way you'll have more leverage and it will undo easily i also put the uh, tiniest amount of three in one oil on each of the threads as well just so that if ever i need to remove this it should be a piece of cake to do okay now let's put the uh, the bodywork back on one other thing to note is that the screws that secure the uh, black matte bodywork two front ones are slightly longer. I always put them, uh, I always lay them out as I've taken them out. So these were the two front, these were the two back, and it's two by two by two. If you do that when you're dismantling stuff, it will go back together so much easier. One final important point to remember is when you put the uh, bodywork back in situ, before you uh, put the bolts in and screw it up, make sure this is sitting nice and flush around the ignition on off. Uh, it's a bit rubberized this end bit and it needs to be perfectly symmetrical around the edges of it. And there we have it, the finished article. It looks pretty nice from the rider's seat. You just push it down, quarter turn and it's off. And a quarter turn clockwise and it locks back in position. Pretty nice. Hey you, if you want to become one of the Ride On people, don't forget to subscribe. Ride often, ride carefully, ride on.